Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nancy and Apron. Welcome to our kitchen. Banana bread. Let's make some. Shall we? Okay, in this bowl, I have three bananas. Now, I've said before, I freeze my bananas than any that we don't eat that get a little too brown. So that's why they look a little bit odd. But three bananas and two eggs. That's what I've got in here. And I'm going to mash these up and incorporate them. I've been making this bread uh, for several years now, and I really do like this recipe. And I actually found it on Pinterest years ago. I, <clears throat> I did alter it a little bit because uh, some of the... Uh, I used all of the ingredients that they had, but it had a few things that, that weren't on my list. <laughs> and nutmeg being one of them. Nutmeg and cinnamon. So, I mean, I, I love nutmeg. I know a lot of people don't, but yeah, if, it, if you put too much in it, then it is going to be overpowering. So, that could be what's happening. But, there's our bananas and eggs. Had to put that on that so it would stop scooting around on me. Now, to the bananas, I'm going to add a little bit of nutmeg. It's not even a fourth of a teaspoon. I would say two pinches. And the same thing for the cinnamon. Yeah. We want to taste the bananas. We just want a hint of those flavors. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this in together and let it be... Uh, Adding the flavor to those bananas and eggs. Now, you're supposed to use room temperature butter. I forgot to put my stick of butter out last night. So I did have to put it in the microwave and uh, give it a little melt. But I've got one stick of butter that I'm going to cream together with some sugar. Over here in another dish, in another uh, bowl. So, let me set this out of my way. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this butter is soft enough to cream. You can use your electric mixer if you want to, um, or your stand mixer, either one. So I'm going to put a cup of sugar in with this stick of butter. And we're going to cream those in together. Oh, and... I'm going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in with my eggs as well, or not eggs, <laughs> in with my butter. Well, rats, in <laughs> with my bananas. Cream this together. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're going to cream this in together. I was afraid that my butter wasn't soft enough. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick this in the microwave. I can't very well use it like that. Okay. Now let's try that. Now, friends, let me tell you. If you don't have little boo-boos like this, <laughs> then uh, I want to know your secret. Because uh, this is the stuff that usually gets cut out of the video. What is it they used to say when they were using, uh, like, the film stuff years ago? Uh, laying on the... What is it? Something room floor. Uh, I don't remember. Any. I can remember them saying it on some old movies. I'm not saying I'm old. I just love watching the old movies. That's all. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add my bananas and my eggs to this. Yeah, it's probably going to seize right back up on me. <laughs> I hope not, but maybe. Nope. Good to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in some salt. I'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of baking powder, 
and one and fourth cups of all-purpose flour. Yes, I am looking at my recipe. Goodness, <laughs> we cooked so much, I, I just wouldn't be able to remember it otherwise. So, one half teaspoon of salt. This is my baking soda. And we're gonna put a teaspoon of that in there. Now that's a half cup right there and I'm going to go ahead and slowly start mixing that in. It is in the 30s here this morning. Now I'm going to add some walnuts to mine too. You can put walnuts in it or you don't have to. It's up to you. And instead of using all the sugar, you could substitute that with honey. I actually have a video where I made some bread with honey and I loved it. But I'm a honey fan. Oh, I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees, by the way. So that's a cup and a fourth. And I always keep me a, a wet cloth right here because as some of y'all know, you are sitting in my kitchen sink. <laughs> all this in. You gotta mix it really well. Be sure and scrape the bowl along the sides, the bottom. You get everything mixed in very well. All right. Now I'm just gonna set that right there to the side. And the next thing I'm gonna do is but I'm going to bring over my cutting board and I'm going to take some of these walnuts and just uh, give them a good chop. I'm not going to fill it too full. Now, obviously, if somebody's allergic, you're not going to put these in there. But this recipe is so easy that you can literally do two loaves, one with, one without. To for the banana bread lovers in your family. And I really don't want to overdo it with the walnuts. So, but I will put just a few more. <laughs> just a few more. Here we go. Now, here's my next step. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on these and mix them in. This keeps you can do this with any recipe. You can do it with, with uh, any uh, chocolate chips or anything like that as well. Where you're going to put this into your cake mix, bread mix, whatever. This is actually going to stop those nuts from sinking to the bottom of the baking pan. There was a lady that told me this years ago. And... Most of the time it works. <laughs> I won't say it works every time, but I would say that's because I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> but just gonna give those a little fold. Okay. Now, let me grab my pan over here. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. <laughs> there we go, I have a little more room now. say a little more. Okay. There we go. Now, I have my bread pan, and I don't have any idea what size pan these are. I really don't. Um, I love using these pans. Uh, 
I, I find them at flea markets and yard sales. I, I've got four or five of them now. And I really love this. This is my favorite pan to use for baking breads. Okay. We're just going to put some nonstick on there. So really good in the corners. Because if it's going to stick, that's where to do that. Now, I've got some parchment paper. Let me find my... Actually, there is a difference on the sides, each side of this parchment paper, by the way. But, again, I always use parchment paper with my bread because the bottom tends to bake a lot faster. And these cook for about an hour, or bake for about an hour, so. Yeah. You don't want the bottom burnt where you can't eat it. You go through all this for that. And, yes. There's some non-stick on there, too. Ooh, I'm going to have to get my other can out. All right. Pour this in there. Again, 350-degree oven. And this is going to bake for about 60 minutes. I'm going to start with 50. And I'll start checking it. The toothpick test. If you're not familiar with it, I'll uh, show you when it gets to that point. But let's get all of that goodness out of our dish and into this pan. Now, I need extra room in my oven because I have other stuff I'm making. So, give it a little shake. And let's pop this into the oven. Pay no mind to all that mess. Not really a mess. It's just necessary. I like to work with my oven light on. So, in it goes. And then I'm going to put it in the center of my oven. And set my timer for 50 minutes. And then uh, we'll move on to the next project. Okay, our next recipe is very simple. These are going to come from a box. No judging. Who doesn't use box stuff, right? This is going to be brownies. We're going to do a cake-like brownie. Very simple. Oven's already preheated to 350 degrees. You saw the bread go in. The brownies. I'm using the Pillsbury brownies. Two eggs. The box calls for one, but we're going to put in two. I can tell you, if you don't want to use uh, any kind of oil, just replace it with apple sauce. The same amount that it calls for on the box. So here's our oil. And fourth cup of water. It's just regular tap water is all I'm using. You can use bottled water, whatever you want to do. Okay. And we're just going to mix this all in together. Again, this gives it a more of a cake-like consistency. We have so much to cook during the holiday seasons, so why not make it easy on yourself? You know, I, I told you I'm doing three recipes. Uh, one being something from scratch, two that are not. But they're going to taste just as good by the time you finish putting all these extra ingredients in these box mixes. So be sure and mix it up really well. You don't want a bunch of, of uh, dried bits of the brownie mix in there. I'm going to put just a little bit of Vanilla, just a little. About half a teaspoon. Now, if one of these is not enough, then just double it. Just double your ingredients. That's all you have to do. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Set that over there out of the way. And grab my spatula. Again. We're just going to spray this. I'm not going to put any parchment paper in this one though. And you're going to bake it for the amount of time that it says this is 9 by 9. No, that's an 8 by 8, sorry. 8 by 8 pan. And we're going to bake it the way the directions say on the back. Just pour that in there. It's going to give it, again, it's going to make it more of a cakey like a uh, brownie. Let's get as much of that in there as we can. We paid for it. We use it, right? Okay. And that's all we have to do for this one, y'all. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven with the bread that's in there baking. Now. Because my third recipe is going to be in glass, I'm going to have to wait until these two are finished cooking, baking. I need to make sure and get that right, don't I? I'm baking this stuff. I'm not cooking it. I'm baking it. So, uh, because this is glass and it's going to bake at a different temperature, um, I'll have to wait until these get done. <laughs> so, I'll see you soon. Okay, you guys, I did tell you I was going to do three uh, recipes in this video, but I, there's something else I want to make. I'm looking over at what I, at my ingredients, so <laughs> I'm going to have to break it up into two so it won't be too long for you guys. So, with this one, I'll show you the finished product when these come out of the oven. It's about 15 more minutes, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Click the subscription button and the notification bell so you know every time we put new content on. Um, we're going to do a smoked pork shoulder. And which we'll have that in a video as well. But I just want to let you know that's one of the things that we're going to be doing. And so it's cutting back on my time uh, to get all this done today that I was needing to do. You know how it is when you've got your, your family coming over and friends. So, <laughs> it's a little hectic sometimes. We're trying to keep it organized chaos. <laughs> so, um, once these come out of the oven, I'll show you those. And uh, I do have to go ahead and get started on the next video though. Okay, this is the brownie, the, the cake-like brownie, the box uh, browning and this is just a small can of fudge frosting you can make your own again this is this is my quick and easy route and we're just going to put a lot on top of here I've, I've allowed it to cool down a little bit but I want it to stay because it's a cake like brownie I want it to stay warm I'm going to grab something to hold on to that with um, I want it to stay warm long enough for me to get this frosting put on there so it doesn't pull the brownie apart. Now, besides the frosting, I've got some other things I'm going to do to it. The bread is still in the oven right now. It should be coming out in here shortly. So we'll have that one to show you in a few minutes. Yeah. I know that the icing gets a little melty, but that's the, that's the reason for me putting this on now. And what I'm gonna do is I'll set this in the refrigerator and uh, get it to cool down some so that the frosting stops melting. 
but I've got some uh, salted caramel chips that I'm going to uh, put on here. Just a few all over the top. Back that out so you can see. I'm sorry. Just so you get a bite or two in, in each one, in each slice. So. And then I have walnuts that I've chopped up. There we go. There we go, friend. Here's that one. Look at that. Yummy. Yummy. Now, I'm going to set this in the refrigerator and get it to go ahead and cool down. Okay. And there is the banana bread. It looks really brown, but it's not. It's my lighting. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take a butter knife and loosen the edges just in case. I'm only going to let it sit in this pan for about five minutes and then I'm going to pull it up and out. All right. Ah, oh, yes. One of the good things about using parchment paper. Lift right up out of there. But there is my banana bread. I'm actually not going to cut it today. I've got to put it in the refrigerator before I do cut it. Um, but, and then the brownies. But, uh, just want to say I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And I'll get you on the next video. Bye now.